All right, here we have a missing PM Sleep S4L board given to me by Camille. And uh, we're going to try and figure out why this board has a missing PM Sleep S4L, confirm that it's a PM Sleep S4L problem, and then throw it at Steve, who decided to put it in my queue. By the way, by the end of the week, you're going to see Hi Hi again. The thing is, you may think that he may not show up this time because he didn't show up the last two or three times. But that's not true, because last night I did a little bit of research and I found out where he lives. That's right, Hi Hi. You don't come to work. Work is going to come to you. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to troubleshoot this from scratch and just pretend that I don't know that it's a PM Sleep S4L. Now, we have a light in the charger, so PP3V4 2 has to be there. So we have 12.6, SMC is doing its job. Now we're going to check the PIPA5 ES5 and the PIPA5 ES4 area. Over here we have a very heavily probed PIPA5 ES5 area. 5 is present. PP3V3 S5 is present. Clock chip. That's present. Okay, now what's this? Okay, what's this? <coughs> what is this effery over here? All right, so the first thing I want to do is figure out what this FS is up going on up here. Making an effort to curse a little bit less. It's probably not going to go very well. But. All right, so it looks like PP1V35 cam. Why are there ripped traces around here? And furthermore, why would we care? I mean, this is for a camera. I don't care about a camera. This thing doesn't turn on. We can't care about a camera yet. I kind of want to see what's going on under that. And I may actually remove this NAN chip. Uh, not NAN, but I believe this is a buffer. I think this is a 512 megabyte buffer chip for memory. Because if it, it also, keep in mind, if there's a hole in this section of the board, what does this tell me? This tells me that damage occurred here. It also tells me that this board was likely clean before it got to me. It, that tells me that the thing next to it probably got damaged. The thing right next to it is a clock chip that creates a 32 kilohertz clock that is going to talk to the CPU and the PCH and get the CPU and the PCH running. The CPU and the PCH is what's going to create PM Sleep S4L, which is missing. Clock chip. So let's see if we can replace this with one that works. Because that clock chip does indeed happen to be messed up. See? I am putting in effort to curse less. So if we go back over here, the camera chip is where we have all this nastiness. Now, I'm going to assume if nastiness struck here, that stuff next to it is a, has been damaged. I don't think that a camera buffer chip like what we see over here is going to have any sort of serious... This, this is not going to cause any sort of serious problem. I am kind of curious what type of sector math that chip would use. I don't think out of the 400 people watching right now that there's only more than one person in my chat that knows what that means. But let's take a look and see what U1900 is for. U1900 is what's going to create a clock. I'd really love it if you left video loads up longer, live videos up longer. I love watching the live shows. All right, I'll leave it up for maybe a few nights. But we are, we, we do live in a world now where people will go through everything that you've ever said over the past 30 years, find the one thing that you've said that may be slightly offensive, completely rip it out of context and use it to destroy you as a human being. So I figured that leaving up unedited live streams where I'm interacting with the audience and joking back and forth might not be the best idea until we move culture past that culturally and as a society. But anyway, back to U1900. So it creates, this is responsible for a 25 megahertz clock and a 32 kilohertz clock. The 32 kilohertz clock, as you can see, goes to the CPU. The CPU is what's supposed to be creating my PM Sleep S4L, which is missing on the board. So I am going to take a guess that I should start here. And hopefully you kind of understand why I've taken that, that leap and how I came to this conclusion. By the way, people, everybody congratulate Hi Hi on his new job. Hi Hi in the chat has been a moderator for two years, and he is just about hired, assuming he shows up this time. He also helped me fix my Bafang bike yesterday. I think it's going to be pretty cool to have somebody who can finally help me with stuff like video editing and not just that, but like all the little things that I say I want to get around to but that I don't do. It's also going to be nice to be able to have a little bit more free time to do things like sleep, travel, well, mostly sleep. <laughs> but yeah, it would be nice to be able to sleep every now and then. So there's a lot of things at this business that could be better. 
that I haven't really put the time in that I should have to make them better. And I'd like to start. So we got a good staff here. We got people like Camille. You've got people like uh, Paul, Gear, maybe Kevin. Nothing. But nothing at all. I can come up with things like a, a live stream bot that an automatically answers questions that I've answered millions of times before. I bet Hi Hi could code a bot. I can't code, but I bet Hi Hi can code. Okay, let's see what we get here. All right, as you can see, fan spin. Fan spin. Do you understand what we're doing here? Do you understand what we got at? Do you understand why we did what we did? So, this board was having an issue where it was missing PM Sleep S4L. We, took a, we did a physical inspection of the board, and there was a mess right around this area. Now, this area, if this area is a mess, I'm going to assume that whatever happened, if whatever is liquid or any sort of junk, may have affected things that are in the surrounding area that are sensitive. Like, let's say, a chip whose sole job it is to create a 32 kilohertz and manage a 25 megahertz clock crystal. So that's the type of thing where even the teeny tiniest bit of water is going to hurt it. It's not like an ISL 6259 where you're going to see a hole punch through it. It's the type of thing where even the teeny tiniest bit of messing with it, again, th this is new for me, no cursing, a little, little tiny bit of water will mess it up. Now. If you look at the schematic in the board view, that's the only thing in the surrounding area that's going to have a relation to the PCH. You have the SMC. That's not really responsible for PM Sleep S4L stuff. It is responsible for it deciding that you're ready to enter a state of getting PM Sleep S4L at all. So, for example, if PM DSW power good is missing, you would have a flat PM Sleep S4L. But here we didn't have a flat PM Sleep S4L. We had a pulsing PM Sleep S4L. If you look under it, you have camera stuff. That's not important. Camera stuff here, not important. Bam. This is important because that goes straight to the PCH. And if we want to really trace back where PM Sleep S4L comes from over here, you see that PM Sleep S4L, it's P5VS4 RS3 enable. If you go back to this resistor, you'll see that comes from P5VS4 RS3 enable D, and that comes from PM Sleep S4L. PM Sleep S4L comes from the PCH and the system management controller chip. See? Right up here. So you need the ins in the left, and you get the outs in the right. Ins and the left, it gives you the outs and the right. And once you're done with that, you're going to get fan spin. Yeah. Fan spin. So that's it for that board. And as always, I hope you learned something. All this board needed was one little chip. And it was picked at random. 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 With that, we're going to move on to the next MacBook. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com Will you be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can